All right, let's open the CodeCamp server project. Over here on the right in the Solution Explorer, you can see there's the uh, solution. It's got 10 projects inside of it. In the middle pane, we have the duplicate code window. On the left, we have the test runner. Uh, there the unit tests have all been discovered. Let's go ahead and run all those tests. While those tests are running, uh, let's talk about the duplicate code window. Um, on the left pane of the duplicate code window, you have all of the redundancy listed there. You can see we found five clones with inside this uh, project here. Um, the clones with the greatest amount of duplication are listed on top. And in this case, we have two large methods here. One is called build ID from, and uh, the other one is called build name from. We can uh, scroll these down here and you can take a look at these. These are pretty much line for line uh, copies of each other. The, uh, the main differences are in these primitives right here, here and here you can see those primitives. Um, over here we see all of our tests have passed, a few were ignored, nothing has failed. Let's double click on one of these, it'll now take us to the source code uh, and bring up the uh, duplicate code UI. We can go look at the next block, we can go through all the duplicate blocks if we want to see them right there in the code. Let's go ahead and consolidate this to the current class. We'll put it right here, this is the target picker, I just press enter. And now we can give it a good name, we'll call this uh, build UI name from, like that, we'll come over here into item and we'll rename uh, item to access member token. And we'll come over here to the end and uh, to, to format piece over here and we'll rename this to array token format string. And we're done. Let's uh, go in and uh, run the test cases one more time. Note that the public interface has not changed here. Build name from, build ID from, those still exist. So code does not break that's working with this. It's only inside that we've made the changes. Instead of having the two duplicate methods, we now have one giant big uh, method instead of two giant big methods. Waiting on the test cases. Note all the test cases have passed and we've done all that in less than three minutes.